Hello, I'm Nico Moro here, and welcome to episode 6 of my beginners, guys. And today it's time to get ourselves some two unique weapons. So, first, we are gonna head over to Pee Wee Trade, as you can see here. And I'm gonna say, well, by the way, don't forget to have the right league going if you're in standard, hardcore, or whatever. I'm in, currently in Abyss League, so I'm gonna have Abyss there, and I'm just going to search for Lucretius Blade, for that is the weapon I'm after. Let's search for that and look at the price. And that is a very, very low price. So, to do some training here, just press the where you see the whisper button there, uh, the whisper text there. Just press on that, it will be copied to clipboard. And now we just pick up the shot, put it to a whisper, and just post it in there. And then we just need to wait for that player to answer. And by the way, he wants a Yulo Sword. This can be, take some time because it's a very low price and many people will not respond. So uh, I might have to do some uh, tries because there are a lot of these yeah, items are cheap, but players, when it comes to cheap items, will not always answer. So it is might take some time. So I'm going to cut here too. I have someone that's actually going to answer when I'm doing this. So see you in a bit. And finally, someone answered. So, this uh, wizard is players uh, hideout, and there we have it. Wizard hideout, and uh, this player wants unfusing for uh, this weapon. So, let's keep him one fusing. Oh, I'm I'm currently <laughs> too much item, so I need to. I guess can I give him that? So, I get the uh, item. Oh, what I'm doing? I'm not gonna go to my hideout. This how is not a part of this character, this is my normal hideout in this league, so... And I'm going to write thank you. Now we have an awesome sword. Now it's just one thing, we need one more sword, so I'm going to leave the party with that necromancer. And we need to get... What I'm doing, I'm right, pressing the wrong button, I guess I'm going to sell this armor here. And I'm going to sell those gloves as well. Now we need one more uh, sword, because we are dual willing and we want two of them, so I'm going to try to find another one, so let's see when I get hang of someone else. And there we go, one of them answered. It didn't take that much time as I uh, thought it would do when it comes to these low level and uh, low value items, but uh, oh man, that's a powerful one. <laughs> you have not seriously this favor? I have not, in this league at least. And there we go. Thank you, sir. And now it's time to equip these things and uh, get moving. I really want to use this weapon for my, uh, well, everything. I'm sorry, but I already got that item. I answered a lot, I asked a lot of people, so that's why they wanted to train with me. But let's see what we can do with these weapons now. Uh, we, I wish I could link this one. I uh, used my two fusings, but let's buy another fusing here. And hope. Oh yeah, let's do it. Uh, that's the thing. That's <laughs> what I'm saying, I don't know. But I want to have uh, at least another red. Uh, that's good enough, I think. Don't need faster attack because these weapons have inbuilt multi strike, so I don't need a faster attack in reality. But uh, well, actually, I think it's time to use some dual strike. Actually, so I want to try to get a might influence as well when I'm other at it. So let me see if I can find one. Search for some might in influence, we have it here. And we find someone, and they are also very cheap. These are horrible roll, but you can see the price from a pretty good roll then to a really bad roll is just the same, so I don't really care that much. So let's see if some of those will answer me, and we can start using Dual Strike. And there we go, someone answered. So let's go to Hideout. Get yourself a mighty influence, and then we can start using our uh, dual strike. And by the way, he wants another fusing, so I, got, I trade myself another fusing, and uh, 
we got and might and influence so thank you for that and by the way the might and influence we got is a perfect roll one see there it has 50% global uh, fiscal damage and it costs one few things so <laughs> very cheap things and by the way if you're gonna use might and influence in this build you must have it in this spot this is uh, well in this particular build it was well good Actually, when I think about it, it, it's a little bit wrong when I think about it because my old, my other non crit version, this is the only spot you can have it, but I forgot this is a crit version, so I can use this one, so not entirely correct. But I'm gonna just do this quickly. Uh, this is a threshold yule, like Mighty Influence. There are other threshold yules as well, and it says when there are four dexterity in a radius, this is an important part dexterity in a radius, not allocated. That means that it's as long as you have uh, further dexterity in the radius, you don't need to take it. Yes, it is uh, that it is in the radius. You can see here, you have one dex you have 10 dexterity here, then we have 20, 30, and 40. 40 dexterity. So keep that in mind, that's how fresh jewels uh, works. When it says in a radius, you don't need to take it. Yes, it is in, are in range. With that said, we are now officially going to use dual strike. Oh, double strike. Do, I, do I actually have a dual strike with me? I don't really remember. Yeah, probably not. So let's go to Act 1 and buy ourselves one. Then we can actually finally continue our adventure in Act 3. Hello, Nessa. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. Uh, do we have a dual strike here? Double strike? I want a dual strike. Should be here. Ah, oh, there it is. Dual strike. One of my favorite skills in the game. Let's put a dual strike there. And let's do that. And do that. And put those jewels in here so we can continue leveling them up. And now we are getting somewhere. We have a Hell of Ash there. Leap Slam. Yeah, we have Ancestral Protector. I want to use that one. So let's use that instead of added fire damage. And continue leveling up both added fire damage and mainly splash. And by the way. We don't need cleave there anymore, so let's have cleave there. I'm gonna continue leveling up cleave. Oh, wait a second. That was ancestral protector. I want an ancestral call. Ah, there it was. I took the wrong gear, skill gun there. Here we go. Now we're getting somewhere. So let's have a dual strike here. Still do good damage, actually. 1000 damage, so uh, that's quite nice. And now, finally, we are going to continue. So, I'm gonna go to Battlefront. And uh, let's see how much damage we do. 1500 damage. That's quite nice. I am quite happy with that. And uh, I have a terrible connection today. Actually, I uh, was about to do this uh, episode yesterday, but my connection was like this. And my connection is still like this. So, uh, ah, whatever. I'm going to play anyway. And I'm going to have a on laggy time. The game is going to be so laggy. So this probably will not be the longest <laughs> gameplay because I can't play as fast as I usually do because, well, you, I don't need to say it. But as you can see right now, uh, this is a single target skill by the way, uh, normally dual strike. But because I'm using both Ancestral Protector, uh, Ancestral uh, Call it was, and I'm using uh, uh, my influence, so I will splash to all of the enemies. Actually, you don't have to use my uh, uh, ancestral. Uh, it was not ancestral protector. I forget the name all the time. Let's take a look again. Uh, ancestral call. Sorry, because I'm using ancestral call and my influence, my attacks will splash to nearby enemies, which are quite awesome. And actually, we find. Uh, Last ingredients we need to burn that barricade, so let's go and do that. Let's go back to town. And when we're at this one, you remember last time we was in Solaris Temple and uh, we give the we give the ribbon spool to our Lady Drella, and now we are going to give the last piece we need to get the infernal talk, and the infernal talk going to burn away. Well, that was a horrible thing to say. Well. But we're going to burn something. 
and we are going to burn the uh, undead where what's the undead undying blockades so let's burn that so and get through and now we are getting somewhere so the next boss we are going to do are the uh, our pirate here and before that we're going to fight a unique enemy which are Grevisius the general of the Ebony Lydian and that will just be interesting by the way next time I'm going to upgrade my weapon going to be when I'm level what was it now 45 I think it was which is the Restus Rapier actually that's not the right name but I call it Restus Rapier because it says it is so I'm gonna call it that but it's sometime there and we have some pretty good damage right now so in damage terms we are doing quite well for our level and we can probably beat most thing then we can throw at us so let's see what we can do against Gravisius hello Gravisius how are you doing man you're taking a lot of damage I think you're taking a lot of damage that must hurt man I have too much fun let's continue and uh, Okay, I'm gonna do something that not many people like to do right now. I'm going to have uh, my do strike here because I get confused all the time because I'm usually have it there. And let's have my trusty whirling blade here. I like to have whirling blade in this and uh, uh, this spot here because I just like whirling blades. And for many people, playing with your melee skill there will be a little bit awkward. But I like to do it, so yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, now we are in. Uh, not Solaris Temple, actually. We are in Lunar's Temple. And I like the aesthetic of this place as well, because I like the combination of red, gold, and, and uh, black everywhere. It looks quite awesome, actually, in my opinion. Look what we have here. Ooh. By the way, when it comes to talking right there, when it comes to talk about you seeing uh, Cleave in this build, <laughs> we just find the threshold jewel for Cleave. I'm just gonna find it. Where is it? Here it is. Overwhelming odds. If you're playing Cleave, that is a must have. That is just yes, a brilliant uh, jewel right there. So that's a very powerful jewel. And we actually got a level, so let's continue and take some crit chance. So we can actually start critting things. A little, little bit more frequently, at least. So I think I'm gonna cut here and uh, get to the next floor. So we find the waypoint and Lunaris Temple level 2. So now we are getting somewhere. Actually, if you're gonna be honest, when it comes to acts, Act 3 is probably my second favorite act, I think. Even when all the 10 acts are out. Actually, I think it is something like that, but it's close to some of the other acts. I really like Act 5. Like, Act 5 is probably my favorite act of all of them. Because I just like the aesthetic and the underlying darkness of that act. Actually, all of the acts are really dark and depressing, and that's the part of the game. But anyway, that's my opinion on that. And actually, Act 10 is quite nice as well. I do not like Act... I think it was Act 7. I don't really like that. It's a little bit tedious. <laughs> Actually, it's really, really tedious. So that's my least liked Act. And I don't, I'm not really a fan of Act 2 either. Act 1 I like. It's a really nice Act. And uh, I like Act 9 as well. Actually, I'm not going to talk too much about that. Because everyone has their own opinion on what Act they like. So... I'm not going to talk too much about that. What do we have? Some brass goglets. I do want them, so I take them with me. And sorry if you hear some sound in the background. I am not alone at home, so you know that. Man, I'm doing really good damage. It's going to be interesting when I... When I uh, by the way, I don't have the ha that's that high crit chance yet. See my fan. Look, take a look at my crit chance. My crit chance is just 13%, but I have the weapon I'm using don't have high crit chance, so that's the reason. And by the way, I forgot to mention it. Isn't this place pretty? No, it's not pretty. It's actually quite horrible to look at. 
This was before the place I would almost call for Auschwitz. And I can't believe I am saying that word on YouTube, but a horrible place where horrible things happen. As you can see, there are bodies everywhere and uh, horrible things are definitely happening here. And I am here to uh, put an end to that. This place must have been beautiful once a time. Actually, we, we will have a chance to see this place in its actual glory later, but I'm not going to talk too much about that. But this... What type of psychopaths do this to people? Well, we are fighting against those psychopaths all the time, so we can probably guess that their worldview are not a good thing. But now we are getting close. By the way, one really good thing to know when you're gonna fight Piatia, have good resistance. So let's take a fast look at my resistance. My resistance is not that good, but you get yourself a level. So let's take some more damage. So I need to be a little bit careful against Piatia because Piatia have a lot of elemental damage, both cold damage, fire damage, and lightning damage. And against Piatia, we don't need Ancestral Call, so let's have Maim support here instead. To do some extra damage. That is a quite dangerous attack she's doing right there. And to avoid that, actually, we should actually go just behind these pillows here, not to get hit by them. But we are as powerful as we can, pro we can just easily tank that. But now we defeated Piatia. Don't forget the quest item. Don't forget the key, because if you forget the key, you need to do this all over again. And now we're gonna get a quest award. So let's talk to this fellow here. And we got the Book of Skills. Before the big update, this was actually the best uh, quest award in the entire game, in my opinion. You get two past skill points from it. Now we just get one, but it's still a skill point, so... It's not that bad. Let's see what damage now. Damage without auras are uh, 1771. With the new skill, we have almost 2000 damage. Or DPS. And actually, what is the time? The time is starting. Uh, let's take one more waypoint here. So I'm gonna go to uh, the Ebony Barracks. And we are going to find our way to the garden. Or the very, very overgrown garden. And I think I'm going to end the video here. The video will be a little bit short because I did a lot of trading and stuff in the beginning. But I hope you can understand. And by the way, my connection is very bad. So it makes it hard for me to play. I was about to make an interesting video on uh, something else in Path of Exile. But I don't want to do it with that type of connection. So I think I will do it maybe tomorrow. But I hope that's okay. And by the way, if you're wondering, I was gonna do something fun with this shot and self cost this shot just to see if I can build something that actually works with it. I, yeah, you will probably not be able to do any high level content at all, but I love using this shot. And when I'm talking about this shot, I don't talking about using the uh, the cost on crit or something other that triggered it. I I talking about manually. To uh, use the spell yourself, uh, self cost. Uh, man, those types of build was really powerful back in the day. And now every time I say back in the day, I feel so old. But it was a long time ago since this shot build was the be all and all. And uh, people run around with these shots and just one shot bosses and all of that. Maybe you can still do it today. I don't really know. But oh, look at that! My connection just got good. So maybe someone was done loading something. I don't know, but I have my suspicions. Actually, the connection gets good, so let's actually, yeah, actually, let, let, let's do the boss. And let's do the boss. So I don't need to use Mame anymore. Oh, by the way, that's probably the reason why I had that much, that much, uh, much damage before. You have a lot of health. Uh, you're dead. Essence of Hatred. Oh, what damage do we have? We have quite good damage. Alright, I was cursed. Eh, almost 2000 damage without have using Maim. Eh, that's good enough because I have good AOE clear speed right now. If I actually was fast <laughs> to play. 
We don't need to be fast. And here we have found Scepter of God. This is a gigantic tower. So let's use the key and get into the Scepter of God. By the way, these are quite long areas, so I think I'm going to cut here and uh, I'm going to see you again at the boss. So we're almost where the boss are. If you are playing this game for the first time, here is the place where you unlock the Scion class. Yes, you know it. So if you are your first playthrough ever and you have started to play the game, you will unlock that class there. But now we are at the tower rooftop. And it is time. Yes, for this fight, I said I gonna do it as a new uh, for a new player, but because I have I have well, used too much money. Hashtag not sponsored. Yes, you know it. I just want a weapon effect that you can't get anymore, so you can't say that I am um, the classic weapon effect. Yes, because it looks really nice. I'm gonna stop <laughs> wasting time with that. I just going to use that effect just, just for this fight. Because, well, I like to look good in the game. I like my micro sections, but they are quite expensive and I use many money, um, a lot of money. But I actually consider like this if you really are burning for a game you really, really like it. Why not show that you like it by supporting them with the financial support in this case? Oh, by the way, I'm gonna stop talking about that and actually uh, talk about a little bit about this boss fight. So this is Dominus, quite dangerous boss fight. And what he is doing right there is his lightning stream that do a lot of damage if you get tanked by it. And it will also spawn these lightning totem, uh, ice totems here and they do uh, not that much damage, but they slow you down and there he doing his most dangerous thing, the slam. He took a lot of damage. And what he did right there was his teleport. And uh, it is very easy to get killed by uh, by both his lightning stream and his uh, slam. And the slam do a lot of damage. You always try to move away from it. That's why I'm using whirling blades to get away from things like that. Now he's going into his second phase. So I'm actually going to take away my ancestral call and use main to do some extra damage as you can see almost 3000 damage by the way i got a level and he will do uh, by the way when he's doing this uh, rain that will uh, apply a bleed stack to you if you, uh, you need to be inside of this bubble here but it's quite easy when uh, <laughs> you understand the mechanics actually i want to take that helmet with me so that and actually I want that helmet too and uh, let's see if there will be any good when we come to town hello Dorella uh, once upon a time <laughs> I'm back there again but uh, a long time ago when you and this was actually the end of the game and when you have beat the game you get some awesome music to hear to it I don't know if I dare to actually play the song right now because I don't know if they are copyrighted or not I don't think they are copyrighted but it will feel a little bit weird if I play the song that you usually hear in the end, but it is uh, it is really tempting to do it. But as I said, I don't really dare to do it because I, again, I don't know if it is uh, if it is copyrighted. I can have a link to the song if you want to hear it, but I don't dare to play it myself. I really like the song, by the way. It was like, oh yes. Uh, it was a perfect end for the for the game there, but anyway, let's continue. Actually, I want some life now, so let's go for thick skin. And by the way, right now we are one of my favorite areas of the game. I really like the aqueducts. I like the feeling of this. Uh, there are a storm here, and the rain is falling, and there are hard winds. Actually, it sounds a little bit about the weather we're going to have in a few days. We had some storms here in Sweden. But now we are actually going to hopefully get some snow. And many of you will think, well, you live in Sweden, doesn't you have snow all the time? No, that was a long time ago. If you know what global warming is, you probably can guess why we don't have that much snow anymore. And that makes me sad. I miss the snow. Ah, all the good memories of snow. <laughs> Uh, yes, memory. But we're going to have some snow now, and it's going to be actually zero degrees and lower than that for like the first time this winter. 
which is just hopelessly rare. But I'm not gonna talk about my personal problems with uh, the weather. It will never be winter. I miss the winter. The winter is not coming. And you know the reference of that. But anyway, I, I'm talking too much crap when I'm playing this game. So, just yes, defeat this boss here, and when we get to Highgate, I'm going to end the episode. I think this is the longest episode I've done so far, but I don't really remember the clock, and I'm going to tell all of the boring parts I said they're gonna clip uh, take away, you're going to not have to see them. So, it will probably not be that long, but uh, it'll be a little bit long. But I, it was good, my connection get good again, so I'm happy. And do I gonna do that other video? Well, time to go and play some World of Warcraft. I didn't say that loud, right? Well, maybe. Oh, actually, I'm gonna play on my... I think I'm gonna play on some of my other builds. But anyway, I thank you all for watching, and I hope you guys like this video, and uh, i see you guys soon.